Friends, in this video, we are solving a problem on multiple integrals. Given problem is, evaluate double integral of a square minus x square minus y square dx dy over the semicircle x square plus y square is equal to ax in the positive quadrant by changing into polar coordinates. Okay, friends, you see, the given problem is double integral over the region R x square minus y square a square minus x square minus y square into dx dy over the semicircle. What is the semicircle they are given? x square plus y square is equal to ax. Here they are asking not to evaluate this integral by changing into polar coordinates. By changing into polar coordinates. Not like general one. Not like general one. So, changing into polar coordinates means the given problem is in terms of x comma y. Nothing but Cartesian coordinate. Now, we are changing into polar coordinates means in place in a r comma theta we have to change. For this, we have double integral over r. Whenever you have f of x comma y dx dy that is in the Cartesian coordinate, uh, we are evaluating the double integral. Changing into polar coordinates, the region uh, re will be changed like this r dash region in place of x friends you see in place of x we are substituting r cos theta in place of y we are substituting r sin theta in place of dx dy we will write a jacobin of dr into d theta where the jacobin is nothing but derivative of x comma y with respect to r comma theta this jacobin is a transformation from x comma y variable to r comma theta variable then we will have r this one we learned previously now so, in place of x, what I am substituting? r cos theta. Come in place of y, r sin theta. Then x square plus y square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. So, r square if you take in common, then you will have cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Hence, r x square plus y square is equal to what? r square. And changing into polar coordinates means here we have to convert x comma y values into r comma theta. So, the limits also we have to change. Right? You see, what is the given uh, reason is what they are given? x square plus y square is equal to a square. What is x square plus y square you have? r square. r square is equal to a into x. What is uh, a into x here? x is what here? r cos theta. So, from this, you can write this as r square minus a r into cos theta is equal to 0. You can write here r into r minus a cos theta is equal to 0. So, from this, we will get a r is equal to 0, comma, r is equal to a cos theta. So, radius is here a cos theta, which gives the circle. Friends, I am drawing the circle. r is equal to a cos theta is like this, not like general circle, not like a general circle. You see, this is the general circle. You won't draw like this. r is equal to a cos theta is a special, okay? You have to remember like this. And r is equal to a sin theta is? above the x-axis, above the x-axis we have, okay, is it clear for everyone, now, r is equal to a cos theta, I am drawing here, let it be rough sketch only, I am drawing, now, this is r is equal to a cos theta, but the region is what they are given, you observe, the region is in the positive quadrant only, they are asking positive quadrant, changing into polar, in the positive region, positive means only you have to take this region, that's it. Is it clear? Now, in this region, what you required? Angle you required, means theta you required, and R also you required. Now, you observe, the region we are denoting with R dash, R dash region is here, in terms of R comma theta, where R is started from, you see, if you draw one X is equal Y line, if you draw, then you see, which is moving like this, where it is touches starting? 0. So, 0 less than R is equal to R, less than R is equal to, where it is touches? This circle, what is the circle here you have? Circle is R is equal to A cos theta. So, R is lies between 0 to A cos theta and theta I want. Theta if I want, you observe the shaded region is occupied in the first quadrant, positive quadrant. In the positive quadrant, what is the angle you have? 0 is less than, this is 0 friends. 0 is less than R is equal to theta is less than R is equal to pi by 2. So, this is our region. Is it clear? Now, x comma y limits are changed into r comma theta. And x comma y also we have to change into r comma theta. Okay. Now, the given problem is double integral over r, double integral over r, a square minus x square minus y square into dx 
dy. Now we are changing into r dash region. R dash region means limits also we have to change. What are the r limits you have? r is equal to 0 to a cos theta and the theta limits from 0 to pi by 2 into and uh, a square is a square minus. I can take minus common from this x square minus y minus x square minus y square then I will have minus of x square plus y square into dx dy. Friends you see here the limit is independent theta is independent and uh, r is a dependent on theta. So first you have to integrate with respect to r but this is not converted into r. How what you have to do in place of x square plus y square we have to write r square. I am writing that one. So first independent limit I am writing that is theta is from 0 to pi by 2. Next r is equal to 0 to cos theta. 0 to a cos theta you have. Next a square minus x square plus y square is nothing but r square and uh, dx dy also we have to change. Actually here I have to write but I am not written. Okay now I am writing here. dx dy is nothing but r into dr into d theta. Now you have to simplify. Before simplifying this double integral, we have to observe the limits. The limits of r is a function of theta. So r is a dependent on theta. Whenever a, a function is a dependent on uh, theta, uh, means dependent on one variable, first we have to integrate with respect to that variable only in a double integral. If it is in triple integral, suppose r is there, theta is there, z is there. R is dependent on which function is independent that you leave. Next, if it is dependent on one variable, that also you leave. So, which function is dependent on two variables, that time you have to integrate with respect to that dependent variable only. But here, R is dependent on single variable theta. So, first I am integrating this one with respect to R. Later, I will integrate with respect to theta. Is it clear for everyone? Now, integral from theta is 0 to pi by 2, next r is equal to 0 to a into cos theta, multiply, here you have r, sorry I have uh, forgotten, so r you have here, multiply r inside, then we will have a square r, a square r minus r square into r is nothing but r cube into dr d theta, so first we are integrating with respect to what dependent variable, what is the dependent variable here you have, r, so I am integrating with respect to r. So, I am writing for the convenience here, limits from theta is from 0 to pi by 2 and I am integrating with respect to r. a square is a constant, r integration is r square by 2 minus r cube integration is r to the power of 4 by 4. Now, the limits of r are 0 to a cos theta into d theta because we are integrated with respect to r. So, what is the rest of the term? d theta. Now, we have to substitute upper limit and the lower limit, right? Now, integral from 0 to pi by 2, a square by 2 is a constant, a square by 2 is a constant, now r square is nothing but a square cos square theta, a square cos square theta, minus lower limit is 0, minus 1 by 4 times half, r to the power of 4 is nothing but a to the power of 4 cos to the power of 4 theta, minus 0 power 4 is 0, given the bracket for this, into d theta, right, now you simplify this integral from 0 to pi by 2, if you multiply it, then you will have a square into a square is nothing but a to the power of 4 by 2 cos square theta minus a to the power of 4 by a to the power of 4 divided by 4 cos to the power of 4 theta d theta. From this, you can take uh, a square is a common. If you take an a square is a common, integral from 0 to pi by 2, this is 1 by 2 cos square theta and I am writing a power 4 outside, sorry a power 4 I have, this a power 4 uh, common from both, so integral 1 by 4 times of integral from 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power of 4 theta d theta. Friends, here I am using a uh, Valle's theorem, here I am using Valle's theorem, Valle's theorem is which is saying, you see, integral from 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power of m theta d theta if you have. So, if m is even and m is odd, then you will have a two cases. If m is odd, then first you have to write m minus 1 by m. Next, you subtract 2 from the numerator and denominator. m minus 3 by m minus 2. m minus 5 by m minus 3 and so on. Like this, we have to do. That's it. Okay. Up to what means? If you are getting 0, you stop there. If you are getting negative also, you stop there. Next, if it is even, then also you let m by m minus 1 m minus 3 by m minus 2 and so on we are doing. But in the finally, suppose even function 6 is there. If you are subtracting first what? 
here we are subtracting 1, 1 means this will be 5, next 5 minus 2 is nothing but 3, first if you are subtracted 1, let it be, 8 is there, if you are subtracted 1, then you will have 7, from 7 if you are subtracted 2, 5, next from 5 if you are subtracted 3, uh, 2 means 3 you will have, from this 2 subtract, then you will have 1, so must and should you will have 1, in the denominator this is even, if you are subtracted 2, finally you will have 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into pi by 2. This is a uh, Valley's theorem. This one we studied in uh, intermediate plus 2. Right? Now, I am substituting directly here. Uh, 8 to the power of 4 by 2. So, integral of 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power of m theta. m is here. 2 you have. So, m minus 1 means 1 by 2. Whenever 1 by 2 is there, we are writing pi by 2. That's it. Minus 8 to the power of 4 by 4. a power 4 by 4. Cos to the power of 4. What is m you have here? m is equal to 4. So, m minus 1 means 3 divided by 4. Next, 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1. Yes or no? By 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2. Whenever 1 by 2 is there, you write in pi by 2. So, this is the solution. You can simplify this. From this, I can take 8 to the power of 4 common. If I take an a power 4 common, then I will have 2 into 2 into 2. So, how many times? 3 times. 2 cube is nothing but 8. So, you will have pi minus. In the numerator, you have 3 pi. 4 fourths are 16. 16 again, 16 twos are 32. 32 twos are 64. 3 pi by 64. So, you can simplify this. LCM is here 64. Then you will have 8 pi minus 5 pi. Is 8 pi minus 3 pi is nothing but 5 pi into 8 to the power of 4. So, this is the final solution. Is it clear for everyone? Right. Friends, if you have any doubts and uh, any comments, any valuable feedback, please write in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.